Hi guys and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. So we are still on the mountain passage. This is the place where we found that magician, the Alminster. Last time, what does this say? Do not walk in darkness. Turn to the light. Okay. Beware of the shadows. Okay. So this is like the third time something is warning us. I think last time something was warning us also about the shadows. Heat bank, what is this? Oh, camp supplies. So beware of the shadows. So let's walk to the light over there. So stuff seems to just drop dead here. To the shadow cursed lands. Oh, okay. That was what the guy talked about the first time. Um, was there anywhere else to go? I don't think so. Yeah. This is the only way. Follow the mountain pass. Okay. So let's do it. That was the curse the other guy was talking about. The first time we talked about going through the mountain pass. And he said it was better to go underground. Here goes nothing. So avoid the shadows. Let's see if that's even possible. You are about to progress your adventure. Make sure you tie up. And you lose ants before advancing. Yes, okay. Can't we go back? I hope we can. Maybe a cutscene? The plot thickens. Act 1. For somewhere altogether darker. Okay. That's an achievement, I guess. Oh yeah, the map markers. I haven't had any use for them until now. Maybe I should have used them. That's no ordinary darkness. It feels powerful and familiar. Stay on your guard. Okay, Shadowheart. Oh, there's a goblin. Are you the true soul? Nope. Uh, maybe. Who wants to know? I'll take that as a yes. Listen up. Grab a torch, stay out of the dark, and move fast. The shadows have eyes. Go on. Okay. Um, the Wizard of Waterdeep, Gale's Mentor, okay, we saw that. A deadly shadow curses, shrouds, shadow curse shrouds this land. Light is needed to protect us from the darkness. Find the cultist camp. We met a goblin who told us about a group of cultists just ahead. We should check out their camp. Okay. There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. It's not the time. But, do continue. <laughs> well, now I'm intrigued. Do continue. I could have died in that pod, back on the Nautiloid. You could have died, spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. Yeah, that's Twice right. Twice over, in fact. You supported me against Lazel. I may not have survived that night without you. I'm trying to say... That you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me. At least from what I can remember. Okay, go on. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. 
To become a Dark Justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm. Her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother, mother, I should add. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... inscrutable. I don't understand. Why be so secret about such an ambition? Dark Justiciers are hated by many. Judged to be ruthless fanatics. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely balk at a Justicia in their midst. But there's a simpler answer to your question. I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Now... I can't get it out of my mind. Thank you for sharing. Um, let's go. So, avoid the shadows. Hmm. We have a light spell, don't we? Maybe not because I thought, ah, it's not good for combat, so why bother? Uh, light, yes we have. Infuse an object with an aura of light. Only affects one target at a time. It stays until a long rest. Maybe. So, let's try this. Um, wait. Let's see, um, is there any more? This object has an aura of light with a radius of 7.5 meters. Until long rest, it seems. Okay. 7.5 meters should be enough for most things. Do we have anything There's else to do. like that? Um, not here, doesn't look like it. You have anything like that? No. And you? You could have something like that. Let's add another one. Oh no, that's too much. Like this. What is this? Why is there a dot on it? Okay, these are new abilities. Why can't he use spells? Level 3 Warlock spell slot. Shatter. Can't cast spells. Not proficient with equipped boots. Oh, okay, that's bad. Are they heavy armor or what? Medium armor. Okay. Ah, now he could. Blade Ward. Armor of Agatis. Hunger of Hadar. Find Familiar. Summon a Familiar. A face spirit that takes an animal form of your choosing. Oh, okay. This guy can summon stuff. Where am I needed? Um. Divination cantrip. No, where What's is that? Doing? Pendant. Ginchiaki? No. Hmm. Absolute's Mercy? No. I need that other pendant from the camp, I guess. For this guy. That helps summons be more powerful or be resistant to every damage. When one of your cantrips deals acid? No. That's not it. Okay. 
I think I, I put it back in camp. Yeah, but that one will be good for him. Okay, so let's do this. Let's put light on our weapon. No. Light. On the weapon. Put light on himself, I think. But okay, that will work. I hope. Did it? Or is light on the floor now? No, it's on us. I think. Can we just walk through? I can feel the shadow's power here, but they don't seem to be harming me. Okay. The shadow curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must <laughs> be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. Yeah, sure. She loves me. She must do. Um. Don't get carried away. This could be something else. Carried away? Hardly. The proof is right there. Just be grateful someone can handle this place. Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicias. Perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. Okay. Is there anything to pick up here? It doesn't look like it. What's over here? An ox. A dead ox. This beast didn't go down without a fight. Okay. Black Oleander. What's inside? Vitriol of Oleander. Unlocked. Huh, where does this go? Is there anything over here? Can we jump over there? Doesn't look like it. Okay. What did they see? A dagger, a longbow, and a ringmail armor. It's a heavy one. So, not going to take that. A torch and a refugee's journal. The ox just up and died. I started choking out of nowhere, then keeled over. It started choking out of nowhere, then keeled over. We tried to pull the cart, but the ox knocked the wheel off when it went down, and the thing is in splinters. The others want to grab what we can and keep going, but this place feels wrong. My skin is crawling, like something is watching us from the darkness. No one else is talking much, but I can tell they feel the same. Okay. Well, with the light spell, this doesn't seem to be too bad. So, can we walk down this tree? Looks like it on the map. Yeah, like Oleander, There's more. For more. Um, maybe some more. Stuff for us to a pile of belongings forsaken to the curse so that their owners could escape with their lives. Okay, get to Baldur's Gate. Read an old map in a druidic style, druidic style of what appeared to be hidden routes out of the emerald enclave. The destination is marked as Baldur's Gate, and a note is attached. Take only what you can carry. 
carry. Go through the mountain pass. If anyone falls, leave them. You can't afford to be slowed down by excess baggage. Good luck. Huh. Someone important. Around, I guess. Nope, that's not too good. There's nothing there. Pensive. What's that? That's not a humanoid, half orc. Okay, where does this go? This could be the way onward? Oh, here's like a house or something. What the hell? Were these guys hunting here or what? Let's go talk to them hey boy you want the bone fetch observe <laughs> you see that flight of coat swallowed all by the shadow curse bet he was pure tasty you're the, the hell? true soul we're taking to Moonrise, I'm guessing. How do you plan on getting me through this cursed darkness? Don't worry, boss. You're in good hands. We've got a guide. Talk to Kansif inside. He'll run through it. Will do. Thanks. Anything for a true soul? Putting a good word for me at Moonrise, eh? Okay, so they want to guide me. It's healing. They want to guide me through. What the hell is going on? And these things oh, are still okay. interesting. They want to guide me through the darkness. Follow the convoy. We met a goblin who told us about a group of cultists. Okay. The Chosen of Shar. We discovered that Shadowheart possesses a certain amount of resistance to the ill effects of the Shadow Curse. It seems that this must be due to Shar's patronage. patronage. But given the mercurial nature of the Dark Goddess, Mercurial nature of the Dark Goddess, the extent of her protection remains to be seen. Follow the convoy. Let's talk to this guy. To ask. True soul. An honor. Did you bring the liar? To bring the liar. It used to belong to a drow? Why do you need a liar exactly? We were told to expect a true soul. That Night Warden Mintharo would send someone with her liar to summon a guide through the darkness. I admit, I'm surprised the true soul does not know this. Where are you headed exactly? I do have this liar, if it's any help. Ah, you do have it. Then pluck a tune, and our guide will come scuttling. Uh, plus three, okay, pluck a tune. 16 difficulty, maybe it's better to add a bonus. Uh, guidance, can we add two? No. Yeah, okay, seems like we did it. Yes, 
I hear them, your majesty, calling us their god and their guide together. Now that's what I call an abdomen. Greetings, and the Absolute's name. You have been charged with guiding us. New flesh for you, my queen. But who are they? Best introduce yourself. Perhaps you'll listen to her true soul. Okay. Harness. Let's see. What? The chosen of Char. Okay. Um, follow the convoy. We summoned the driver. We should speak to him. Oh, wait. There was something here. Reach the ancient temple. Okay. Reach moonrise towers. Where where is the ancient temple? Hmm. Carla. Oops. Follow the convoy. Wait, can we loot this place first? Mm, doesn't seem to be much to loot here. Wait, there's a way down here and everything. I don't want to go without looting this place. Ah, uh, okay, let's see. And you? What are you? More faithful of the absolute. They need a guide to the tower, same as us. Your minds connect, and you hear a whispered voice. The Absolute. Or just the echoes of his fractured mind reverberating in the dark. <laughs> a true soul. You have more worshippers every day, Majesty. Hmm. So you're the guide? How do you survive out there? We have our queen's favor. She speaks to us, protects us, graces us with her blessing. And her magic lamp. Uh, and they are jealous of your gift, Majesty. But you gave it to us. And we always keep it close. Damn it, I only have these two options. Damn, sometimes these these dialogues go in another direction than the one I was thinking. I was just commenting about it. Do I want to go alone? So I could explore and loot everything. I have a light source. Maybe, can I examine your lantern? No! Our queen gave it to us. If they wish to walk through the darkness alone, they are welcome to. Okay. Okay. I don't need you or your lamp. Oh, that's so. Maybe this will change your mind. <laughs> no more demonstrations. Time is short. We need to go. Yes, yes. We shall go. Your light leads the way, my queen. Are all ready? What the hell is hiding in there? Things best avoided. Shadows lurking 
and shadows. Now, will we follow or stay? Damn it. I can say I will follow, I can say he has to wait, or I can attack. Yeah, lead on. Bless us again, Majesty. Shine your light. Protect us. Come. Follow and stay close. Do not leave the light. Do not feed the shadows. You heard him. Move out! Oh, gold. Nice. Let's see what happens if we don't follow him. Oh, thief's tools. Nice. Worth it. Let's see what's up here. So they will wait for us. Okay. Severed head. Okay. Not too interested in that. And um, we have a unlock spell, right? This one. Okay. Where else can we go from here? We could go this way. What is over here? There's a chest over there. Let's see. Something's wrong. General tutorial. The Shadow Curse is a powerful threat that lurks and devours in the darkness. Surround yourself with light to avoid its most lethal effects. Okay. We have a light, right? Why aren't they coming? What the hell? And turn? To go still. I must keep going. I'd love to, thanks. Soldier? Where am I needed? Best foot forward. A word, if I may. We have a light, supposedly. I think. What the hell? We have a light source. And well, in it. Light. Okay. I knew we had a light source. these and there are a lot of them okay okay okay, 
Okay. Um, load. When when was the last load? Um. Oh, when we played the music. Okay, I guess that's it. <laughs> so yeah, I guess it's better to follow the guide. But there was some nice loot. God. Greetings. There was some gold and stuff. And a few potions. Maybe we could go up to there. And then go on. Yeah, wait. Let's loot. And this guy. Nothing there. Let's loot that guy. Something good here. That one had something. This important. And this guy. This guy had the gold, I think. Oh, where is the guy with the gold? This guy. Okay. Now let's go up here. And get that chest. Okay. Shadow, go loot that. I mean, you have to open it first. Okay, loot. Maybe take the torches also, since we are in the Shadowlands. Now let's go down here. We could attack this guy and kill him, I guess, and keep his light. Would be an idea. Um, yeah, I guess we will follow this guide next time. Because for now I am going to throw down a save and end this episode here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. And that you are curious to see what's going to happen next time. So, see you back soon. Bye.